Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Lone Eagle, 112358. All glory to God, Jesus, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. Peace. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it so very, very, very much. I really do. Um, about last night's video, um, our live stream, I was talking to you about God's wrath and uh, the judgment throne. Um, I believe in eternal security, once saved, always saved. And I guess I was speaking to two audiences. I didn't really make that clear. I'm sorry. I just was so struck at what happened last night to me. Um, I didn't really make that clear. Once saved, always saved. Eternal security is a thing. I believe that once, you know, once you become a born again Christian, you're saved for life. You're not going to hell. So let's address that. Now, if you continue to sin, willful sin, as a Christian, you're going to have a rough life. Okay, you're going to, your life's going to be full of sorrow. You're always going to feel convicted. You're going to feel worse than what you felt before you were saved from doing the same sin. You're going to feel even worse by doing that. And maybe you figured it out maybe you didn't i'm not sure but if if you're wondering why you're feeling terrible all the time and you're you're in sorrow and you know things just aren't working out for you in life and you're a christian um it's probably because well there could be many reasons but if you know you're sinning those same sins like you're still a drinker you're still a smoker you're still doing drugs you're still a fornicator uh that's why that's why whatever it is you were doing before you were saved as the old man and you continue those sins as a new man you're going to have a rough life. So that, you know, please stop sinning. Stop doing those things. Write those, write, write a list of your sins down. Take inventory of yourself and start correcting them one by one and repent. Repent of those. Go into prayer and be like, God, I'm really sorry. I, I should have stopped this. I didn't. And he'll forgive you immediately. And then you'll see your life change for the better. It's hard to quit drugs. It's hard to quit alcohol. It's hard to quit, you know, the old man things. It really is. But when you have the Holy Spirit in you, He's going to convict you and He will give you the strength. You know, you just got to pray for it. Pray to God. I, God, give me the strength to stop these things. I understand I shouldn't be doing them. And move on from there. So write your sins down if you can. Keep that stuff to yourself. You don't have to share it with nobody and just speak to God. Pray to God and ask Him for help on recovering from those. Now, for the unsaved, all right, that's who I was really talking to last night because this community, the Mandela Effect community, is full of people who, you know, are dancing around with Jesus, using His name. Uh, pagans and heathens, uh, the terrors, the goats, the, the ain'ts, and you know, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what category to put you in because I'm not judging you. Uh, I was on that side before. But if you're playing around with Jesus' name and you're still sinning, there's a day called the judgment, uh, judgment day, okay? And you're going to be judged for everything you've done, you know? And um, you don't want to go to hell. You don't want to go to hell. Believe you me, there's a lake of fire. So for everybody that's talking about the Mandela effect change and, or the Bible changing because the Mandela effect, okay, fine. I'll play. I'll, I'll, I'll go down that road with you right now. Fine. Words have changed. But here's some words that haven't changed. Lake of fire. For eternity. Yeah? The book of life is still in the Bible. Judgment day. The day of the Lord. God's wrath. Those things still exist. Those haven't changed, and that is the thing. Stop playing with fire. That's who I was talking to last night. Because you're going to sit there and you think you're doing all well, especially if you think you're a Christian and you're not. You really haven't asked for forgiveness. You haven't been born again, but you just sit there and you like Jesus. You like the idea. That's not good enough. Your good works, your good deeds are not going to get you through, okay? And if, especially if you know about Jesus and you're preaching a false gospel, um, I don't know if you're truly saved or not. That's between you and God. He's going to see through that. Okay. That's why Lordship salvation is a bad thing. You know, so I, I say this on my channel all the time. So if you're, you know, I don't like using the word fake Christian anymore. It's something that I really don't like. I used to use that all the time. Um, if you're just an unbeliever and you know you are, you get right with God do it right away because there is a lake of fire there is a judgment day and he's going to judge you and you're going to think your good works and your good deeds are good enough uh that you you know you were going to church or you're praying and you're donating but you really haven't been saved you got to have that contrite heart and that, that you know and uh the broken heart and you, and you got to repent and that's how you get you get forgiven for your sins that's the process you know what i'm saying and um and then you, and you stop okay but when I'm talking to, you know, everybody else, the pagans and the heathens and all of those are just going against the grain, man. I'm telling you now, it's not worth it because the Bible does say there is a judgment day. There is the day of the Lord. There is great tribulation, a great tribulation, the great tribulation coming. 
uh, Jacob's trouble, you don't want to be left behind. I'm telling you now because you will become believers. I guarantee you this. You keep playing fire right now. You keep messing around doing what you're doing right now. You're going to get left behind. I have a feeling it's going to be this generation, but every generation has been saying that about Jacob's trouble. And then guess what? You're going to be like, uh-oh, there's, there, there is Jesus. And you're going to realize that Satan used you. He was playing in your mind. He used you to attack Christians. And then when all the Christians disappear from the world one day, because of the rapture, you're going to be left behind. And then you're going to be really upset with yourself. And you're really, really going to hate Satan because he played you. He used you to get to us, to insult us, to attack us. And then you're going to become born again. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. There's going to be more people born again. There's going to be more born again Christians within the three and a half years of the first, the first three and a half years of Jacob's trouble. Then there were from the time Jesus left up until today. There's going to be more born again Christians, more believers, okay? That become, there's going to be more within that three and a half years. The first three and a half years of the seven years of Jacob's trouble, more people will become born again in those three and a half years than there were from the time Jesus left the earth and ascended up into heaven in Acts to this day. Think about that. And if you don't fix what you're doing right now, you're going to be one of those born again believers. Every knee will bow. And I'm telling you now, yeah, you can stand tall against Jesus and God right now. And you can do all that and mock us Christians. But I guarantee you, you're most likely going to become a born again Christian when we all get raptured and you're left behind. So how about this? Go get saved. Just forget what you're doing. God, he forgives you. Just you got to ask for forgiveness. You got to uh, believe in Jesus. I suggest you do that now. Confess your sins because there is a lake of fire. There is a judgment day. There is a book of life. And you want your name to be in that book of life because believe you and me. The alternative, eternal damnation and hell, you don't want that. Okay. I don't hate anybody in the Medellin Effect community. I don't hate channels. I hate false doctrine. And I love life. And I want everybody to be safe. I really do. I'm sitting here with my Starbucks coffee on my quick break. All right, guys, just want to address that. I'll probably do another live tonight, live stream tonight, because I'm going away for three days with my camp, uh, with my church to a camp somewhere. I forget where it is, San Marco or somewhere, but uh, I'll see you guys later tonight, right? Uh, remember this. Remember the two greatest commandments in the world. Love thy father with all thy heart, all thy, all thy strength, all thy soul, your mind. Love him, worship him, and love your neighbor as yourself. Lone Eagle, one, one, two, three, five, eight. All go to God, Jesus, King, Kings, Lord, Lord. Peace. <laughs>